Hey friends, I just want to go over a couple things with you real quick. I, uh, my subscribers, I looked here and I saw that uh, Johnny Repeat, the Fallen Angel, has a new video out and I can't help but make a comment on it, not arguable. Um, well, let me just say, I'm arguing with pretty much everything the guy says. Um, even to the fact that uh, I've done 37 videos, 37 videos, um, and I actually made a playlist on it today to make it easy for people to find, and uh, trying to expose this guy and his false teaching and his corruption of the scriptures and twisting it. He can't, you know, he can't speak, it reminds me of an old Leonard Skinner song, it's the, the lyrics of the song is, you can't speak a word unless it's full of ludes. And um, talking about quaaludes, well, you know, his, his poison, his drug, the strong sin coordinates, and uh, the Targum Jonathan. But um, anyway, getting to the point is uh, the scariest movie ever did a video today, and they're talking about uh, scientists are finding alien DNA embedded in human DNA, uh, evidence of ancient, ancient aliens engineers question mark well this really shouldn't be that much of a big mystery because Daniel 2 43 clearly says they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men it used to say they shall mingle their seed with the seed of men you can still find traces to that but again that's a Mandela effect and I know some people don't believe in that so I'm not going to go in there but uh, now it says they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men but um, I'm just going to play a little bit of this here for you real quick. And um, I got quite a little surprise listening to this. So here we go. Ultimately, this is about acceptance. This is about preparing the public for an introduction to our, quote, alien saviors. Here. Now, let me make a point of that because I did a video several months back. And I, I, I said that Johnny is prepping people for acceptance of when these guys show up. Um, there's probably, gonna, they're probably gonna show up good guys versus bad guys. And a lot of people are gonna uh, be acceptance of what they think is the good guys. But I'm here to say, I don't think any of them are good guys. I just wanna make a point of that. But continuing. There's another one. Mystery of our 145, quote, alien genes. Scientists discover some DNA is not from our ancestors and say it could change how we think about evolution. So we have an uptick in UFO sightings, so much so the mainstream media is covering it now. We have multiple stories connecting human beings with, quote, alien DNA, and also a talk of evolution. Human beings will evolve into these things. All of this, once again, I believe, is setting the stage for an introduction to the alien savior. Here's another one. This is from March 20th, 2017. They get right to the point with this one. Aliens created our genetic code and signed it with the number 37, scientists. And I find that pretty interesting because I've done 37 videos, 37 videos trying to expose black. I just thought that was pretty interesting that uh, scientists are saying, you know, the 37 is a magic number. Now, this is something I want to, I, I really don't want to discuss this, or, or I was really apprehensive of discussing this. I had an event happen about a week ago. And, uh, when I saw this video, I thought, eh, maybe the Lord's pushing me to expose this. So I'm going to play a little bit of this. I'm going to tell you what happened to me. Okay? Again, all of these sightings have taken place just over the last few weeks. The first two pertain to strange cloud activity. In the very first one, I want you to notice the orbs, or the light entities that are floating in and out of this strange cloud activity. And the rest are more examples of, again, these interdimensional beings. All of this has to do with lying signs and wonders in the sky, in my opinion. A slow disclosure that's speeding up. An acceptance of the reality of these beings. And an overall indoctrination into the lie of what this actually is. So let's check these out. Okay, can you see how this cloud is there and it's flashing? 
It's got light rippling through it, back and forth, back and forth. This happened to me a week ago. I was praying for a brother uh, online. It left a comment on my channel and I had a cloud ascend, or excuse me, descend right down over my house. I mean, it looked like it was parked on my roof. I have a flat roof and um, I kind of think outside the box where most people have arch roofs. I have a flat roof because to me, uh, an arch roof is kind of a waste of space. So we actually have a garden on our roof. We grow a lot of our own vegetables and stuff, but getting to the point. This cloud comes down, and it's the, I've had this happen a couple of times, but not to the degree that it happened last week. Um, this, this cloud came down and rested right on the top of my house. Like I said, I was praying for this brother. And then I looked out over the edge of the lot, and there was another one there, and it looked almost exactly like this thing, except it had a black hole in it. And I got up and walked over there, because I have, like, zero fear. No fear whatsoever. It's like... It's like David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. So I walked out, and um, I continued praying. And I stood there, and I looked over, and the clouds over my house, I looked over to my right, and this thing just like this that showed up in Thailand is sitting there. So uh, and I spoke my peace to the Lord, and I turned right around, turned my back on that, and walked away, and went, went about my business. So. I made a comment to a brother. He had made a, 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 some form of a comment. I can't remember exactly what he says, and, but I did say, I can tell you with absolute certainty something heavy duty is going on. Okay? So there is definitely something going on. Now, Mike, uh, we're closing, I'm going to close with this. But Mike, with On Point Preparedness, recently did some videos on bees. And he was talking about how bees survive these fires. Well, I don't know if you guys know it, but I used to be a professional exterminator, so that kind of doesn't surprise me. But he was making a comment here, and he's understanding, he says, understand that the phallus symbol and the domes are always connected together, which I found pretty astute on his point, and uh, or on his part. And then, um, he had done a video, um, again, this video was back August 28, 2018, this particular video that I'm pointing out here, uh, where this lady, and the name of it is Demonic Spirits Are Overtaking Truthers. And I'm not going to, you know, really get into this, but, you know, you might want to go back and watch it because it's pretty, pretty interesting, some of the stuff that he dug out of that. Now, in closing, um, this is the Notre Dame uh, video that I'm referencing regarding the bees. He actually did two. And if you can see here on the bottom, I had made a comment because one of uh, Johnny's Kleckite followers had posted a, um, a link. You know, they're always out there fishing for Johnny. They're trying to drive traffic to, uh, you know, his channel. It says, um, oh, great, Mike. Now you've got two minutes to midnight. See post below, spamming your channel with a link to admitted professing fallen angel, Jonathan cult leader Kleck, uh, spamming your channel with a video he made using your data. I'm sure you're impressed. Not, uh, you know, I, I just can't see Mike, you know, allowing this or, or going for this at all. But remember, I told you guys, I'm not getting my notices. I'm not, you know, when people reply to me and things, I'm not getting my notices anymore. I think that's, uh, well, let me just say it like this. Matthew 13 can be more clear. It says, let them grow together. It's talking about the wheat and the tares. I think we have tares here. And the video that I was talking about, uh, Mike with Unpoint Preparedness pointed this out. Um, this lady actually pulled this trucker over and said, you're a fallen angel. It's kind of amazing. So this is his other video. And so, 
I just replied, oh, great, Mike. Now you've got two minutes to midnight, see post below, spamming your channel with a link to admitted professing fallen angel, Jonathan cult leader Kleck, spamming your channel with a video you made using your dad, I'm sure you're impressed, not. And then I get this Kleckite uh, troll follower of Johnny Repeat, sex organ fiend, um, says uh, Tony Lynn Fargo, aka Bride of Christ, says, Who's in Kev One? You believe your father, Satan, the serpent, who said, You can be as gods. I believe my father, Jesus, who said, We are gods. So, uh, I just reply to that with the scriptures in the New Testament. I forget the exact part but it says and he has given us power to become the sons of God can't become something that we already are. Make sense? How can you become something if you already are? So that right there proves that, you know, Kleck has manipulated and massaged the scriptures to try to say that we're gods. And what it's talking about, uh, judges, rulers, magistrates, even though we have almost a godlike status on earth, we'll die like men. That's what the scripture means. I've done videos on it. You can go back and check Mike Heiser, the video that I did with him. I mean, he just blew Kleck right out of the water. Anyway, continuing here, uh, again, it says, uh, Kuznikov one, you believe your father, Satan, the serpent, who said, you can be as gods. I believe my father, Jesus, who said, we are gods. Well, Jesus didn't say that. But continuing, uh, good luck to you, Cruising Cav, who has a channel dedicated to being a minister of Satan, the accuser of the brethren, as you, Cruising Cav, stalk the prophet Jonathan Gleck. I don't stalk him. He's not hard to find. He's all over the place. He, you know, he's post posting videos all over the place. You know, he calls everybody a false prophet hunter. I don't, you don't have to hunt him. He's everywhere. And his minions are posting his crap everywhere. What I'm trying to do is help deliver people out of his grasp because he's under control of Satan. He's twisting the scriptures. He's altering the scriptures. He's redefining words. And, you know, that's my job. And I'm glad to stand. I'll be glad to stand in front of the Father and explain you know why I did, which I don't think I have to do, you know, as far as explaining, because I think it's clear as day. Anyway, real quick, here's my reply to Terry Lynn Fargo, aka the Bride of Christ. Um, I feel, excuse me, I see that you're a cult leader clack, not so Kool-Aid drinker. Please note that deliverance is available. So do yourself, along with the rest of us, a big favor and be smart and take advantage of same. It's no game, as fallen angels and their followers will burn as is written. Remember, what is written will happen. Repent if you can or burn, choose wisely. So with that, I'm gonna cut the video short. But uh, yeah, I'm on him. And I wish a lot of other people were on him because the evil is growing and um, I want to know why the rest of the Christian ministries aren't growing I mean, other than the fact that they don't support each other they're more it's, it's more of a competition 
than they are trying to support each other, which I do. If you go and look at all my playlists, I'm constantly supporting other Christian ministries. You know, I, to God goes all the glory. Any good thing that I that I am, if there's anything good in me, He's given me as a gift. I, I can't take credit for any of it. None, zero, nada. So I don't know why the, the, the Christians can't get together because the demon entities, they're unified. So, you know, that's the reason that, that they got us against the wall. And unfortunately, I think scripture says a lot of us are gonna die as a result of that because people aren't doing everything that they can do. And so if you're not doing everything you can do, naturally, you know, evil's gonna rule. So what does it say? All it takes for evil to flourish is for good men and women to do nothing. I'm going to say that. I just want to say goodbye. Take care. Hope you share the video. Hope you take a look at my playlist. Hope you share my playlist. Hope you think about your brothers and sisters who are going to burn unless they get turned around. And with that, love you. Stay close to Jesus. Read your Bible. Stop depending on other people to tell you what it says read it yourself. Then ask some questions. That's the way to do it. Take care. God bless you. Bye now.